Sam Cooke had something along the lines of 30 top 10 hits or top 40 hits back in the day between 1957 and 1964. Left us way too soon, right, Mike Magic Boyd? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, always good to have you back on the show, Mike, and Thanks, good man. to Thank see you. you here. Let's give a little, little love there. So you've been around. You're a performer. You do it up all over the place. <laughs> and uh, and we got something coming up uh, this coming Tuesday at Patella's right. Jazz and Supper Club. That's in Studio City. And uh, Sing Boy Records, Sing Boy Productions, right. who is a, a, a tribute to legendary music of Sam Cooke. Yep, yep, yep. Now, this is, uh, this is obviously you are going to be uh, performing the... The uh, <laughs> songs of the legend, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if people know, but for, oh, the last, oh, 25 years, uh, 30 years, I've been doing, uh, performing Sam Cooke's music all over the country, uh, Las Vegas. People have seen me in Legends in Concert in Las Vegas and Laughlin, Nevada, and around the country. Um, I really enjoy singing his music. Uh, I think that what he had what he left for us all, uh, well, what he brought to us and what he left for us uh, could never could never be replaced. That's right. And it transcended uh, uh, popular music. It, it, it not only just uh, brought in black audiences, but white audiences exactly. as well, but exactly. also uh, very much an entrepreneur starting his own record company and exactly. launching the careers of other uh, known Major artists in the early 60s. Act, yeah. yeah, Bobby Womack and quite a few, yes. So uh, that's really... And, Lou and, Rawls. Yeah, and again, left us way too soon. Now... Mm -hmm. When you perform, are you are you uh, em embodying uh, Sam Cooke from head to toe, or are you just singing his music? Is it Mike singing singing Sam Cooke, or is it a little bit of Sam Cooke uh, uh, coming through? Yet? Coming through, all of those <laughs> is what I've heard from people over the years. Um, uh, that uh, a lot of people have said I've the closest uh, that they've heard to Sam Cooke since uh, since uh, through all the singers. Um, a lot of people have recorded his music, uh, uh, Rod Stewart and OJ's, everybody. And um, once I sang, once I heard the music, once I saw it, I, I just never was the same. And I think it hit a lot of other people that way, too. And so uh, what I'm doing on stage is, one, trying to bring the pureness of Sam Cooke's sound. We'll never get his look because everybody has his look, but you come on in the suits, you come on in the look, you make the time period uh, for the people. So we're looking for everybody to come out and just have a good time. For the older people, come out and enjoy uh, your childhood where we had fun, where we did the twist and all uh, the cha-cha-chas and all these things. Um, the kids today who really appreciate music and who want to have a good time and understand where music uh, originated, not that it originated in the 50s and things, but the music that came in that they're dancing off of now is nothing but this uh, This music is nothing but the roots for it. Exactly. You know? And so they're really doing the same thing. And so if the kids want to come out, uh, and uh, right now 18 and over, uh, to this because there is, you know, it's bar and there's alcohol. Of course. Uh, but we want everybody to come out and just have a ball. Sing the songs. Barry White, uh, Selena, uh, uh, sing this music. Have a good time with this music. So when you leave, uh, the feeling that's inside of you is euphoric. So uh, you are the headliner. You also, as you as we mentioned, I played Barry White on the flashback. Uh -huh. You've got Sire, who is a who is yeah. a, a kind of a Barry White tribute uh, performer, mm -hmm. and uh, a, a, I want to make sure I pronounce her name right. Is it Elijah De Jesus? Uh, uh -huh. oh, uh -huh. Good, right? Not bad. Well, Selena, who is Selena, who again left us too soon as well in right. the '90s with a, a kind of a mix of pop and Tejano style. So it's a really going to be a really good, and that's a great place to have it too, Studio City down there. And th what's really important, I think, especially about all these artists, but especially Sam Cooke. Is mm -hmm. is uh, you know really breaking the breaking ground for pop music in in almost every genre? And you mentioned Rod exactly. Stewart, mm -hmm. "Twisting the Night Away." Rod Stewart. That's my first Rod Stewart song I ever heard ever about the age of uh, nine. You know, so uh, and that the fact I didn't even know it was a Sam Cooke song. And then I'm hearing Sam Cooke. I'm like, this is even better. You know? <laughs> I um, it, it hit me uh, sort of the the same way because it, his it, he's influenced so many people that I have to liken it to. Michael Jackson, uh, the Beatles, uh, these people, that once you caught on to this person and what they were about and, and the spirit that they were bringing through this music, it actually changes your life. Uh, whenever I want to be happy, whenever I want to feel better, 
This is the type of music I put on because that rhythm goes straight to your soul. It goes straight to your heart. And it makes you start to feel better, think better, do better. And this is a time period that I think a lot of us, especially as adults, older adults, long for. Uh, is a time period when we could look at each other and we could dance together without fighting. We could sing together without arguing who's the best. And, exactly. You know, all of this stuff that going on today is great, but it's not, it's not the, the original feeling. And this is what I'm trying to get our children to feel, our adults to feel, you know. What is, uh, this might be a difficult question to answer, what is your favorite Sam Cooke song? Oh, man, you know there were so many, right? Exactly. So I would have to pick a couple because, one, I love twisting. How can you not love You Send Me? But then Wonderful World, you know, Bring It On Home. Uh, these songs, Nothing Can Change Your Love, Another Saturday Night. Uh, all uh, Chain Gang, <sighs> need I say more. So you really can't pick from them because they were all so consummately sang and arranged uh, and performed that it really didn't come down to which song was better, but how good Sam Cooke really was. That's right. You know, is the way that I have always seen it. There was not, if I hear one of his songs now, I don't choose. All I do is thank God that I'm listening to a Sam Cooke song. That's right. And everything that he did, there's 30, 30 top 40 hits in, in less than 10 years, actually, between 1957 and 1964, all, all by the time he was 33 years old. Exactly. So uh, amazing. Now, again, Sing Boy Records presents a tribute to the legendary music of Sam Cooke. You'll see Mike Magic Boyd embodying the spirit that is Sam Cooke. We also have opening act Sire. Is a Barry White tribute band. and It looks just like Barry. Yeah? It sounds just like Barry. That's outstanding. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, I, you, you, before you got here, I was singing to Lori. She was, <laughs> I was out there in the front. I was very, very distracted by it. And uh, Elijah de Jesus, uh, I mean, Selena tribute. And these tribute bands and, and performers are, are incredibly popular. So this should be a good thing. This is at Upstairs at Vitello's Jazz and Supper Club. That's on Tahunga Avenue in Studio City. The best way to find out information. You got tickets $20 in advance. You can call 818-769-09. Or go to vitellosjazz.com. Mike Magic Boyd, always a pleasure to have you stop by, sir. Thank you so and, much, uh, man. Good luck with the gig. And uh, hello to everybody out here in, in uh, Santa Clarita, Land, Lancaster, and all the areas, Valencia. Hello, everybody. And looking forward to seeing you out there. You bet.